food and life. So when I talk about fish fizz, as I break the science down, which I did so many times, and that's what you're going to get in the teachings when we give the masonry aspect of our teachings. When I say everybody else wear the fizz and clandestine, I'm going to teach this historicalness. My other nobles will get the maroon fizz. And, like, and, and this is the thing with me as a noble. This is the thing with me as a noble. When people, I don't get caught up in the color of a person fizz. Because see, I know what the fizz represents and I know what the degrees represent. And I don't care if a person have on a black fizz or maroon fizz or orange fizz or green fizz. If you don't know the degrees in the science, then it doesn't matter. Because everybody is worthy to wear the fizz. If you understand who you are, because it's your what? What is it? Your national headdress. Your birthright. So we can be clear on things, but we must understand what the fans represents. And we must be willing to say if we don't understand what the fans represents, then you must be educated on things. And that's what I'll be telling more is we are afraid to be educated on particular subjects. We are just going on a belief system. And I don't care what you believe, especially when you think you talking more science and all you talking is like a domestic terrorist. Especially when you dissing something and I said you damn sure ain't no scholar no adapt because you know you're not coming from no holy books You coming from Wikipedia You can't tell me that that's why I said I don't I will never debate no one that's supposed to be a student because I know where everyone coming from Wikipedia and and, and and Wikipedia don't mean nothing in real scholarship Especially if it's not peer review. Where's your library? Where's your reference? And then you must people talk about they reading I don't give a damn what you're reading if you don't understand how to interpret Especially if you don't know the language. So you can't tell me. Especially when Morris have the Quran. And I know you ain't studied the Quran. And I know you don't have the manuscripts to go to study in the Quran. And then, so don't give. So when the more come with that crap, especially when they talk about, they all they did was civics. And I say, what civics? They say, what you mean? And I say, see, you, because you can't be one foot in and one foot out with more science. This is a holy and divine creed. Holy and divine creed. And most Moors are not educated on the nationality side. I'm telling you, man. So don't get mad at me. You should be a student. If you're not willing to be a student, continue to be confused. That's what I'm telling Moors. That's what I'm telling Moors. That's what I'm going to keep continuing Moors. Telling Moors. But I know how Negroes, when they put a fair zone, they think as soon as they put a fair zone, they, it's like you think you know something. And that's the sad part of, of, of us. The ones that operate in their lower self. When I when we when they talk when you give yourself a title of some sheik and some scholar and then when somebody want to test your scholarship and when I mean test your scholarship, you, you know they, if if you say you know something then you should be able to teach it eloquently. You should be able to break the manual down. So let's get into some some basics that I like, you know, and we're gonna get into uh, we're gonna get into a little teachings. And that's why when I tell Moors, I'm going to be starting promptly. And that's why I tell Moors, if your life depends on being prompt, a lot of Moors would be, they'd be taken out. Because Moors can't even be on time. That's why I said when the class will start, a lot of stuff is going to be, I'm going to be pre-recording it and just sending it to everybody. Because if I said, if I did live lectures for class, especially if like, okay, we all go to class no matter what time zone you own, Negroes would be late. They'd be 30 minutes late and miss everything. This is what I know. This is what I know. This is what I know, man. Watch. Everybody going to start coming in late, late, late. And that's what I be saying. I know more is not studying. I know more is not prompt. But we run right to the TV when a goofy movie starts like power. Everybody be on time. You will pre-record that. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. That's what I'm saying. So we can talk about real life. We can talk about real life, man. Morris can't be prompt for nothing. We All we do is do is, is get caught up in catchphrase this holy day. And when it's time for you to get the teachings, no matter where you at, because you're supposed to use the Internet to network, just like if you was a student. 
That's why I said Moors be talking. And then they and then you see them online. They say it's not a temple and where they domicile because they all like to use catchphrases. So the next thing you got to ask them, what are you studying that collectively? Who you covenant with? Are you covenant with a real sheik? Are you covenant with a real scholar, an adept? What you doing? Nothing. The first thing you say is you study at home. Go with that crap. You see what I'm saying? And y'all know I'm telling the truth, Moors. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. There's no systematics. There's no brotherhood. Come on, man. That's why when I break that Moore's Quran down and the first thing I ask more, what am I talking about? They don't know. And can't no more sit in here and tell me they, they do because I know they're not studying the Moore's Quran. Why? Because they don't have the literature. Moore's don't even know the elementary science. And don't get me caught up in the committed to the doubt wisdom. Don't get me caught up in the ancient primitive writing mythos. Don't even get me caught up in the basic 32 degrees, which all Moore's should know. But they like to use catchphrases, like they st like they standing on your square. How are you standing on your square? Cause you got your feet out. Talk to me, man. Somebody talk to me. Somebody talk to me, man. Somebody talk to me. So let's get to introductions, cause we're gonna keep this right on topic. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical speeches while at work or in their homes or or on the streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans. It causes confusion. Remember your card is for your salvation. Fear to obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And when these principles are violated, justice must then take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings toward the temple or the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. Remember when I say Allah, man, in more science, God and man is one. We're talking about American Islam. But we're going to talk about some deep stuff today, man. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their car and button, cease wearing their turban and fez, and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet through the rule of Allah. I mean, excuse me. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the Prophet Nobu Ali. And if the Prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The Prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the Prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sinful ways. This is the thing I ask brothers. If you say you're into more science and you study the science and you're getting the real teaching from your brother, why aren't you introducing your next brother to it? This the thing. This the thing that I'll be saying about us when we don't spread the message and we don't uplift our own, and we looking for something outside ourselves. Somebody talk to me. And when I come from scholarship, and when a brother talk about they love God and all this goofy crap, and and how do you ain't even seeing God, but you hate man that you see every day, and all holy books testify that we talking about God and man is one, and God works through who man. This temple, this vessel, this tabernacle. I mean, I, I hope y'all are listening to me. Come on, man. So we talk about, so we're gonna talk about what more science, what it is, and understanding what more science consists of, and then the other stuff is law. Do Moors know what more science really consists of? Do more, do, 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 you, do the Moors have, do you more have the Moors Quran? This is the first thing I want to ask. Do Moors have the Moors Quran? Do Moors have the Moors Quran? This is the first question I always ask when the Moors always ask me, what should I study? And then the first thing they goofy but go to talk about some black laws. I say, man, that ain't nothing but a dictionary. If you say you study the science, the science is perfecting yourself first before you run into anything that you don't understand or run into anything that you can misconstrue and, and, and just run with something. So if you say you are more and you follow the teachings of our prophet, Noble Drew Ali, that anything that these holy books can do is make you upright and noble and committed and covenant. Do Moors have this? Yes or no? Yes or no? And see, this is the thing when I say we're Moors always promulgate and they just act like they something on the Internet. And I say, man, I don't get caught up with nobody just acting like they something on the Internet. Do Moors have this Moors Quran? Yes or no? Yes or no? Well, this is how we learn. We ask questions and we be honest. 
Do we have the Morse Quran? Yes or no? Because I wait. I wait till people answer before I move on. I wait. I sip my water. I'm going to wait till somebody tell me something and respond to me. Do, do more have this Morse Quran? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> cuz like, nope. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm waiting. Okay. One one person said yes. Now watch this. Now watch. We now, we now have it. Now watch. We're going to break it down. Because having it and reading it, understanding it, and understanding science is two different things. We can have it and it's getting dusty. So we're going to go. We're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna, we gonna do some things. So anybody, it's more than this you on here, Brother James. And watch how watch how I ask, watch how I break something simple down, and, and and watch how a person try to get their own understanding. Watch. I wait. It's other people on here. Do y'all have the this Morris Quran? I wait. I have to get it from somewhere else. What you say? I'm new and still learning to learn. Is that's great, Islam? But it's somebody else on here. Sir Thirty Three joined. That's why I be saying it's like, come on, people say something. Urban Barbershop joined. So I mean, talk to me. I was looking for my other uh, uh, my other manual, but I think let me see. But I just talk on it, and I'm gonna talk about on all the things that the Moorish Quran is based off of. Any, like I said, do anybody else got it? Anybody else have the Moorish Quran? This is how we gonna diffuse all the teachings. How so? How can so watch? And then when you go, then start asking all the more. Then start asking all the Moors that talk about their sheets and all this. What, what what is Sunday school all about? So if Moors have the Moors Quran, brother James, you say you have it. Brother James, you say you have the Moors Quran. So what is the Moors Quran based off of? What 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 what, what do the Moors Quran break down? Cause see, we can have some, and if we can, we can misinterpret things. So, what what is the Morris Quran? What the Morris Quran talk about, brother James? Let's have a a, a, a brother conversation. Cause you're the only one that say you have it. So, what means you should be able to converse as brothers and as nobles. See, that's what that's what the teachings do, and we're supposed to walk out the house synchronized. Cause we don't walk, we don't operate under our own understanding. And then I'm gonna break some stuff down. Watch, I'm going to break some science down. When I say a person can't arbitrarily uh, connotate in their own religious connotated perspective, break something down, that's supposed to be universal law. So let's have a let's have a brother to brother conversation, Brother James. What this more Quran based off of? Because I can show you all sir stuff. Get the get your pens in the 1590. Watch, I'm going to break something down for y'all. Everybody ever heard what the 1599 Geneva Bible is? Watch this. Okay, that's one aspect. But anybody had a 1599 Geneva Bible? Watch how I break stuff down. And I want somebody to do this while we research it. It's going to blow your mind, which, like I said, I teach all holy books. If it's versions, it's always versions. It's going to always be a rewrite and a rewrite. Do y'all know they talked about Moors in the, in the Bible? And they call them Moor? Do you know that, cuz? They call them Black or Moor? You know that, cuz? No. Okay. Anybody else know that? Watch, I'm going to tell you how they stripped you from calling you Mohammedans. What you say? This is the first channel I've seen that's talking about science and scholarship. Islam. That, cause that's all I'm going to come with. Because that's all I, I don't have no fake degrees. See, people get you caught up in a dog, dogmatic, connotative, arbitrary explanation of religious dogma. I ain't got time for that. I understand about the theory, but I understand the science which trumps, which liberates, and mathematics. Numbers don't lie. Alphabet don't lie. It's universal. So, Brother James, yes, that's one aspect. Know thyself and the God and the Father God, Allah. So, before I even get into this teachings, see, yes, we are Moors. Yes, we are uh, Moorish Americans. 
with a Moroccan descent. But see, the root, the, the, the meat and the potatoes of the sciences, we connect ourselves who? To the lineage. To what lineage? What lineage you think? The great God. Come on, Moors. That's, that's what Moors missing. See, you dissing something that you don't know anything about. That's what I be telling Moors. I say, how you dissing something? And this is connecting us to the lineage. See, think about this before I get into this. Watch this. When I talk about language and dispensations and I tell Moors you can't get mad. Because see, just like in the biblical scriptures, Israel is supposed to bring the word to the other people. It was their birthright and people was grafted in by faith. Now watch this. Watch this. What were they called in, in ancient times? Mohammedans. Mobites. They were called Mohammedans. Think about this science. And see, remove the, and, and then, and see, me and my dad were just talking about this. And then they're like, oh man, this is, a, I'm getting chills. Just like when I talk about history of Thomas Jefferson Quran, when I tell y'all how the war in British and winning war with the Americas and they called them Berber pirates. And then you go back to Spain when, and then you go into biblical scriptures and it says in the beginning, everything was dark, was dark. See, in the beginning, everything was rewritten. They were Berbers. They was dark. See, now, now, see, I'm glad what you say. The only people that I've heard talk about Moors was how they ruled in Spain. That's it. Okay. But then, but <laughs> that's fine. But see, we talk about in the American, when, when we go to law, watch when I start breaking law and civics and everything down. It was like before the 1800s, before the Civil War and all that, on paper, we were Moors in America. I mean, it's in the, it's in the Constitution when I break down, when, when people come in class, in my civics class, when people just be posting memes and the meme they got, if you just strip the Moors uh, from the fields and the turbans, and I ask Moors, what's that, where that Constitution at? And then they be like, I don't know. I just post something I saw. I'd be like, see, that's propaganda. If you don't know the Constitution, see, I have the real laws. I have the, I understand the religious laws. Obama told Negro, blacks, and colored in 2010 that you have a right of a nationality. But what was so prophetic, he said you have a right to change your nationality. And no one will be arbitrarily denied of a nationality or the right to change it. And the claim a child replaces the birth certificate. See, if something worked, then it always worked. Noble Dryly set the temple up a specific way. See, <clears throat> see, when a person come to the United States, say a Chinese, do they become a Chinese Chinese cousin? Okay, do they become an American American? No, they become a Chinese American. Does a Bosnian come here and become a Bosnian Bosnian? No, what? They become a Bosnian American. Just like when a condo, when a person from the Congo come, they become a Congo American or a Congolese American, and they have dual citizenship. But then the reason why you don't, because they don't want to connect you to the nation of the earth. This is simple science. Watch this. When I talk about proclaiming, declaring that due process, watch some simple. When I talk about proclaiming, and if you don't claim who you are, somebody else will do it for you. Watch how simple this is. Here go a box. Negro, African American, white, Indian, uh, whatever, 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 uh, Mexican, uh, uh, the blah, 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 and all those misnomers. Which one are you going to pick? Watch. You're going to pick Afro or American. That, that's what I mean. That's what I said. You have self identified as what? A misnomer. How? Willingly. That means you are obligor. But see, if you understand science, and I just told you, uh, uh, you, you first must have a uh, 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 due process, you must declare. Proclaim it and due process, that's self-identifying. So why you don't make the box yourself, put who you are, Morris American, and reserve your right. Reserve your right to what? Self-identify. Somebody talk to me, man. See, y'all missing the teachings. That's what I be telling y'all. No one can make you nothing. So let's go back to what I was, let's go back to this Morris Quran, Noble, because we ain't getting off this. Yes, the Moors Quran say know thyself. But then when I said, don't y'all know it speak of Moors in the 1599 Geneva Bible? Think about this. Don't you, you, do anybody know this? Because see, you gotta you gotta you gotta understand at one point did it change from Mohammedan, from the Moabites, when did it change? And when it just talked to us, we just gonna call it Islam. Think about think about something, man. And, and then I, and, th and that's gonna be a part that you think about in class when I start teaching you how language was changed. Why? To connect you from what? The bloodline, the lineage. I'm trying to tell you and get you all twisted up with what misnomers. I'm trying to tell you, man. That's why nobody wanna never want to talk about the genealogy of Yahshua the Messiah. Because then you got to talk about who? Ruth the Mobitis. Who? The the who? Ruth the Mobitis. Tamar. Y'all, y'all missing the whole, the family, the bloodline, y'all missing it. If Morris, if our paperwork and our, and, and everything is proven, we connecting ourselves to God. We're from the tribe of Judah, lineage of blood, lineage of David by blood. 
What are we connecting ourselves to? The only reason why you're not connected because you're looking at an image that don't look like you. Oh, I know what you're looking at. You're looking at Alexander the Greek when he created his own uh, 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 Pharaoh, Serapis Christos. That's what you're looking at. Oh, oh, I know what you're looking at. You're looking at the Italian perspective. You're looking at Caesar Borga, the Italian perspective of the Messiah. That's what you're looking at. That's what you're looking at, huh? You confuse the language. You you missing the teachings. You missing you missing the teachings all in all. Cause we want to diss something. So don't y'all know it talks about the Moors in the uh, 1599 Geneva Bible? Do anybody know that? Yes or no? Just tell me yes or no, and I'm gonna give you scripture. That's why I be laughing at people, man. I be like, come on, man. These more science connects you, connects you, your nationality connects God and man as one and talks about your workman tools. The rest is international law. Period. So do anybody know that they talk about the Moors in the 1599 Geneva Bible? Don't anybody know? Y'all didn't know uh, uh, Shakespeare wrote about Othello the Moor? Man, I start breaking. Okay, do anybody else? That's one urban barbershop located. This one I said, wait till school start. Wait till you see two of my uh, youth students when, when so-called black history start and see what they talk about and see what they teachers be like amazed. Watch. I'm going to show you all a letter that I got. This is what I be telling people. Watch. In Jeremiah 13, 23, when I talk about Ed Melanick. Eb Melanick. Y'all don't even know what E B E D M E L E C H is? Research it. Research Jeremiah chapter 38 and 12. Somebody get that for me. Then I'm going to give you the rest. Research Jeremiah 38 and 12. And somebody post that real fast before I even finish. Because see, this is what I'm going to tell you. When I tell you connect yourself to the families, you got to understand the language. People lost. They, cause they want The first thing we want to do is this something. And I'm talking about the family. you looking at one person. I'm talking about it's the family. It, it, the scripture testifies to it. To what? Your black B, 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 B. Jeremiah 38 and 12 in the 1599 Geneva Bible. Somebody give me that. You got a smartphone? Is your phone smart, Isis? Yeah. Well, then they not tell people to be smart. Don't use your phone just for goofy stuff. We should be networking. That's what I be telling Moors. We should be trying to come together. I'm building a nation. This ain't for jokes. 1599 Geneva Bible. And that more we talk about we don't have no religion. I'm like, you got to be crazy. Our religion is Islamism, Sufism, what? Connecting God and man is one. Understanding the 12 zodiacs. That's what I'm talking about. I understand the es exoteric teachings. I understand all that. I, I understand all the science. We get that. But in this context, we talk about in more science connecting God and man is one. Anything outside of that is true shirk. Believe in some mystery God. When I say I self law and master in Islam, which is American Islam, I'm talking about the great God in you and me. So when I say pray to Allah, I'm telling you, you better give yourself praise because why you made in an image and it's nothing outside of yourself that can help you. The pendulum swings the same way to the left as it does to the right. But you want to control that pendulum where it don't always swing that way because you don't been there. So your pendulum stays in certain control. I hope you all listening to what I'm saying. You got it, cuz. Anybody got the anybody got Jeremiah 38 and 12? By this is declared that the prophet found more favor is the devil. In the 1599 Geneva Bible. Where's talk, talk about the black or more? In the Jeremiah 13, 23. I want y'all to that's homework. So back to back to what you were saying, Brother James. Exactly. A, a, a part of the Moorish Quran we're talking about know thyself but what's the introduction of it says you have it you have the Moorish Quran ah see you now look oh see look that's good that the Kabbalah is, is, is all good stuff can we talk about the Kabbalah we're talking about the Kabbalah and when I see watch that's why I said more should be in school with me and be willing to learn watch this watch this urban barbershop because the Kabbalah when I talk about the Kabbalah, things are written Kabbalistically. When we talk about the Baphomet, the Baphomet is written Kabbalistically. It really means Temp Hob Habs Abba, meaning the Temple of David, and it's written Kabbalistically to throw you all off, because all animal uh, figures are nothing but pious hieroglyphs. When we talk about our ancient uh, uh, Egyptian or Kemetic science, when I'm telling, when I talk about the pentagram, yes, Ed, Ed Melanick the Blackamore. That's right. So Blackamore, when you start connecting things, really is, is Berber. When you look at the old history books, when I show you Thomas Jefferson Quran, when I demonstrated yesterday how all of them certain roses, or certain flowers that grow at the White House was brought by the Sultan, and that was a gift, and it's honored. 
And then I show y'all how the treaty they did with, uh, uh, they tried to call them Berber pirates because they were traveling on their land. But then the last time when they were supposed to send their pay or their booty, Thomas Jefferson was like, hell, we send the warships. And that's where you get from Tripoli to see the shining sea. And then when I talk about the war of Ferdinand and Isabella, my history book, and you see the slave ship of what? Jesus of Lambic. I'm going to give y'all, oh, y'all didn't know, you ain't know of a slave ship called Jesus Cousin? No. See, you reach up Sir uh, Hawkins in a, in a, in a war of, of, of Ferdinand and Isabella. It was a slave ship called Jesus of Lambuk. And they, and they floated a Demi Moore head. I'm going to teach all this in class. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to teach. It's a history. It's a deep history. But more to be getting caught up because they're not being educated. We want to just go on things. Absolutely. Well, the slave ship called Jesus of Lambuk. Lambuk by Sir Francis Hawkins. And the war of, of uh, Ferdinand and Isabella was one of the biggest wars in American history. Just like I'm going to show you the Battle of Bunker Hill, just like I'm going to show you the Battle of Bunker Hill, how they uh, uh, whitewashed uh, Prince Whipple and Oliver Cromwell out of the picture. They took the Moors right out of the front picture. You're going to be like, wait a minute, I'm going to show you an old picture. That's in the uh, history, in the libraries. And I'm going to show you the book that they teach in school, 1774. And I'm going to show you the picture and show you the story. You're going to be like, well, where are these two guys at? You're going to be like, it looked like somebody just picked them up and took them out of the picture. Then put nobody in it. No. They took them out of history. It's called whitewashing the history books. See, that's what people don't understand the Tea Party was really about. But we're going we gonna, to we gonna go there. We're going to go there. See, now, now, right, Brother James, the genealogy of Jesus. With what? With what? The genealogy of Jesus was of what? The genealogy of Jesus with what, noble? See, this is why I be telling Morris they're not humble. Because how can they say they're teaching the, the teachers of Noble Ali and they don't even know the training wheels of the science? So, yes, you're right. But what, what, Brother James? Teaching the 18 years and events, life and works and teachings in India, Europe, Africa. These events occurred before he was 30 years of age. Now watch this. Now watch this. All through this Morris Quran, what to talk about, Brother James? All through this Morris Quran, what to talk about, Brother James? Brother James, what, uh, what, what, what does Morris Quran talk about through this Morris Quran? It's a few things, but what did this Morris Quran talk about, Brother James, when, when, when Negroes say they Moors and they dissing something? What did this Morris Quran talk about, Brother James? Brother Bay, come on, man. Watch. What, what did this Morris Quran talk about? Because yes, right, it talks about know thyself and the Father God, Allah. Yes, yes. But what else it talk about? So I give, I, I, yes, when you, talk, when you talk about the genealogy of Jesus, absolutely. But what, it, but what it breaks it down, everything. That's why I said I know Moors ain't read this Moors Quran. Yes, it talks about love, exactly. But that's, that's, that's not, those are general but when I talk about specifics, when I say when I, when I, when a person just like for asking, if you ask me what the Moors Quran break down, what is what is uh, uh, consist of, and I say well the Moors Quran is in chapters. This, this is why I'm a teacher, and I'll be like the Moors Quran te teaches a plethora of things based on the chapters and based on the teachings and based on the uh, uh, study guides to go with it. But if a, if I would just summarize it, and I would say well chapter one talks about the creation and the fall of man. I say chapter two talks about the education of Mary and Elizabeth in. In Egypt, chapter three, uh, uh, and talks about the divine instructions. Chapter three talk about it lose lessons, the unity of life. And then if a person asks me, can you expound on that? I expound on it. Chapter four, the death and burial of Elizabeth, Matthew's lessons, the ministry of death. I just, I'm giving you chapter chapter five. After the feast, the homeward journey, the missing Jesus, the search for him. His parents find him in the temple. He goes with them to Nazareth, symbolic meaning of the carpenter tools. And then we get all the way down to verse 12. We talk about our workman tools that's used to perfect our mind, which is our masonry, which is our comedic degrees. Chapter 6, the life and works of Jesus in India amongst the Muslims. Amongst the Muslims. Chapter 7, the friendship of Jesus and Lamas. Jesus explains to Lamas the meaning of truth. Chapter 8, Jesus reveals to the people of their sinful ways. Chapter 9, Jesus attends a feast in Bihar, and here he taught human equality. Chapter 10, Jesus spake unto unity of Allah and man, to the Hindus, to the Hindus. Verse 22, when man sees Allah as one with him, as father Allah, he needs no middleman, no priest to intercede. 
and this is Allah. You are each one a priest just for yourself and sacrifice of blood. Allah does not want. Are you listening to me what he just said? Did y'all just hear what I just said? Huh? Come on, man. Let me give y'all something, man. Verse 17 in your Moorish Quran, chapter 10. The nation of the earth see Allah from different points of view. And so he does not seem the same to everyone. Man named the part of Allah he sees, and this to him is all of Allah, and every nation sees a part of Allah, and every nation had a name for Allah. When we talk about the 99 names for Allah, when I talk about we respect all the law and the prophet, you let somebody get you caught up in names, and, and, and it teaches what it says, a prophet come in the voice of the people. Y'all tripping. Verse 19, you Brahmas call him Pramabram or Paramam. In Egypt, he is what? Thor. And Jens is his name in Greece. Jehovah is his Hebrew name. But we know it never was a J in the Hebrew dialect. So we can debunk that right off top. See, when I say I'm not here to diss nothing, I'm here to shed light. He said Jesus and, and Jehovah. It never was a J in the Hebrew dialect. So how can Jehovah be his name? And then Hebrew is Greek too. Because I break you down there with Eber. I'm I'll show you other different things, but this is in, the, in certain dictionaries. But everywhere, he is the causeless cause, the rootless root from which all things have grown. And I gave you verse 22. When man sees Allah as one with him, as father Allah, he needs no middleman, no priest to intercede. Verse 24. And this is Allah. You are each one a priest just for yourself and sacrifice of blood. Allah does not want. So how can you say you are more and you practice in everything outside of yourself? Somebody telling you, you got to go do 10 Hail Marys. And I tell you that ain't for the God. The God is, is the, that's for the slave to be out all day. That is not what the Quran teaches. Verse 11. This is how no more don't study when I be talking about Mabag Hajita and all my uh, uh uh, uh, Tibetan books when I tell Moors I'm like you missing all the teachings Jesus and Bartha together they read the sacred books and then the first thing when Moors we talk about they some adepts I say you don't even have the Vedas how can you say you understand the teachings you don't have the Vedas when I talk about uh, 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 um, uh, the Guana, the Guana, the Guanatama Buddha when I talk about uh, uh, the Africans in Asia when I talk about the seven serpents I mean Moors don't understand what I be talking about among the Buddhist priests was one who saw a lofty wisdom in the words that Jesus spoke. It was Barato Arabo. Together, Jesus and Barato read the Jewish Psalms and prophets and the Vedas and the Avista. Don't y'all know that stuff is real? I have the manuscripts. This is how I know more is not studying because I'm giving. I'm coming from the Moors Quran. I'm coming from the Moors Quran. Noble, listen, what information can I give you to show me how Hebrew is Greek? You have to be a student, man. That's the only way I'm going to show you because I teach it in my systematic classes. You must have the, you must have the, uh, uh, the lexicons. I, this is what I tell people when people be talking about supreme mathematics. Language is synchronized if you understand the glyphs. This is, what I be, this is what I be teaching. So when a person asks me what can I give, no disrespect, I'm a teacher. And the only way I can teach you something is if you must be a student of the teachings. That's the only way I teach. And, and, and you're going to get everything out of it. Every question, it will be answered when a person is my student. But that's the only way a person can synchronize. When I teach a person, when I ask them what do kumbaya mean, and they think it mean come by here. And I say when I break it down in a lexicon, the kum and the by and I, I tell you that don't mean that. It means stand up and arise. When I break the when I break the stuff down, and then when I start talking about uh, gematria, when I start breaking down codes down, I mean this is a practice. When I talk about linguistic apartheid, when I talk about etymology or etymon, the English language is Greek. That's why when you look up pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical means something. Pharma, the root of pharma. Research this. 
the most of the English language is Greek. And see, this is what I'll be, be explaining to people when I say, when they say, well, well they you want some quick, some shake wake, and I say, so you went to, uh, 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 so you went to basic schools, you went and got all that education, education, and then went to college, got in debt, and then when a person can get a real education for a donation, because I'm a real organization, more is one a quick fix. Come on, man. And I, I'm a real school, so the only way I'm going to teach it is systematically. You see, chapter 12, Jesus teaches the common people at a spring, tell them how to obtain eternal happiness. 13, life and works of Jesus in Egypt among the Gentiles. I mean, I can keep going on. I know more don't study the Quran. Chapter 14, the ministry of John the Harbinger. Chapter 15, divine ministry of Jesus. Jesus goes to the wilderness for self-examination. 16, Pilate's final effort to release Jesus fails. I mean, what, what, where, 17, Jesus appears fully materialized before Apollo and the silent brotherhood of the East. I'm going to teach. 18, resurrection of Jesus. Jesus appears fully materialized. Holy instructions and warnings for all young men. Marriage instructions for man and wife from the noble prophet. I mean, y'all more is not even duty of a husband. Holy instruction for the child, the obedience of children towards their father, a holy covenant of the Asiatic nation, a holy covenant of the Asiatic nation, holy instructions of unity, the holy unity of the rich and the poor. Man, come on, man. I'm just giving up. I'm just giving you a crash course. I'm giving you a crash course. I know more is not studying this Quran. Because when I when I brother Bay when I ask more is what this Quran is, is 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 what it's based off of they have no inclination they have no idea so how can you say you studying the teachings of Noble Drali and the first thing you want to do is talk about you writing some writ and I'm saying and, I, and the first thing I'm gonna tell you you going to jail that that's the first thing I'm gonna tell you is you going to jail because you don't even know international law that's that's why I be laughing Morris wants something free. You think something free, and I'm telling you, this is restoration. So how are you gonna say you following the teachings of Noble Drali? And I just broke everything down. And the first thing I be seeing Negro, Blacks, and colored. The first thing they did get on the internet and start talking about, oh, that Jesus stuff. I ain't down with that. I say, man, you're not teaching more science because you ain't studying your Moorish Quran. That's right, Noble, Magistrate, and Subject. It break all this stuff down. It break all this stuff down. You right, Noble. You right. You absolutely right. You know? Come on, man. Magistrate and subject, holy instructions from the prophet to the so of the social duties. Holy instructions from the prophet to justice. Holy instructions from the prophet, charity. Your charity. So how can you say you studying more science and you following more and ain't even a part of the more science temple? And just because you part of the temple don't mean you're right. But someone that's an adept that can, that you can know that teach the teachings. That isn't going to teach you a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors and use you as a crash dummy and get you locked up. Look at all the law I give you. I'll be breaking the law down that'll save more from getting locked up. Just like I almost tried to save him more with that. He don't have to pay no taxes with that 16th Amendment fraudulent stuff. And when I showed him all that stuff is fraudulent and folly, oh man, they were scared. But they all in trouble now. All in trouble. That expiration, all that stuff, fraud. All fraud. All fraud. And that's what I'll be telling Morris. Only the teachings was going to save you. The teachings weren't going to save you. And I tell Morris, we have to be prompt in everything we do. That's all right, Noble. I ain't talking about you. I'm just, in, I'm just saying in general. We got part two. I'm just going through the Quran. I'm just going through the Quran. So that's what this Moore's Quran is all about. The holy instruction from the prophet for gratitude. Holy instruction from the prophet, sincerity. Holy instruction from the prophet, your religion. Your religion. The son is not Allah. Though his noblest image. So when I be talking about the clock of destiny, that we ain't, we talking about yourself. That's why I say you got to be educated on these teachings. Holy instruction from the prophet to know thyself. Holy instruction from the prophet, the breath of heaven. Holy instruction from the prophet, the soul of man. Holy instruction from the prophet, the pinnacle of wisdom. 
Holy instruction from the prophet, the instability of man. Holy instruction from the prophet, inconsistency. Holy instruction from the prophet, weakness. Holy instruction from the prophet, the insufficiency of knowledge. Listen to this. If there is any anything lovely, if there is anything desirable, if there is anything within the reach of man that is worthy of praise, is it not knowledge? And yet, who is it that attain it? So just when I tell y'all, if this wisdom was just important as the food you eat every day, if these teachings that I'm giving, this is food. And I tell more that if you was in a physical temple, you wouldn't give a donation. That's why I said when school start, when classes start, I I'm not going to be on Instagram. No one be able to find it. You might see a little snippet, but this is over because I give free teachings. And when I go do lectures in other places, it'd be packed. And I tell more my cash app is dollar sign KG Bay. And then when school start, all more is going to be like, oh, no, but this and that. And I'll be like, look, I know what you spend your money on. Cosmetics. And when I say cosmetics, looking like something. The holy instructions from the prophet of knowledge, what I just gave y'all. Holy instructions from the prophet of misery. The divine origin of the Asiatic nation. The beginning of Christianity. Egypt, the capital empire of the dominion of Africa. That's why I be telling more. I'm like, you're not operating right. Because the teachings, will, if anything, will make you upright. Only way you're going to know law is studying law. Not from no damn Wikipedia or somebody, or somebody fraudulent concealing stuff in you. The end of time and the fulfilling of the prophecies. And that's just the Moors Quran. So if you say you're teaching and studying the teachings of the Quran, I know you and you don't have this. Boom. You don't. Watch this. Watch this. Do any Moors know about the unto the I grant? I got it. I ain't have time for pulling my uh, roster crucian manual out. But any Moors know about unto the I grant? And don't say you have it, because uh, that's the only thing I'll be hearing more say, oh, I got that, I got that. I'll be like, I don't care if you got it. Do you understand it? And then, if, and then you say you're studying more science, so if you got it, you should be able to synchronize it and put the science together. So we more understand what our, what our, what our uh, Rosicrucian manual is and what chapters is it in in our Moorish Quran. Nope. It ain't. Nope. See? See what I be telling you? That's what I be telling you. Watch this. We, watch. When, when our Rosicrucian manual, when our Rosicrucian manual, see, this is the thing I got to tell Moors. When you read the chapter of one, you're going to break stuff down. You'll be like, man, didn't I tell you a, a westernized Freemasonry? Everything is connotated and they took all your signs and symbols and they wear everything is and they wear everything in clandestine. And they wear everything. That's what I'll be telling Moors when they did something. That's why I'll be laughing. Remember, and I say and I say European Masons wear everything in clandestine. Why you think they wear all black represent the melanin? Why you think they left foot is forward? Why you think they left foot is forward? Because come on. Because that's connected to the what? The earth. And why you think everything is on there, on there, on there, uh, a skirt, all the workman tools. It's in your Moorish Quran. That's why I said your workman tool is in your Moorish Quran. It's in our committed and adapt manual. So we look at King Menakaru. So this is what you're going to get when you become a student and you pay your one time membership fee to get all the books. And then you pay your membership fee each month because you're going to be able to synchronize and you ain't going to guess and you're not going to assume you're going to be like everybody wear this in clandestine and it's religious and political. And that's what I'll be telling Morris. I'm like, I said, you got to understand that people take the teachings and use it for themselves. I don't give a damn if, if you a Prince Hall, a Scottish, right? I guarantee, especially if you a Negro, because you ain't free. I guarantee you don't know your science because they buried you in a shallow grave. They're not going to tell you the mystery and the mysticism of who Haram Beef is. I guarantee you this. And, they're not, and, and, and they ain't going to tell you what they killed you with. And they ain't going to tell you in the biblical scriptures who killed you. Jubal, Jubel, and Jubalom. And what they had, a Jubilee. So that's what I know more is ain't and don't understand. So watch this. What's the don't y'all know what's the, what's the Morris Quran chapter 20 and 48? Watch this. What's the, what's chapter 20 and 48? Uh, uh, the basics of the Morris Quran. And I'm going to tell you what it's consistent of. Watch. Watch. This when I say Morris, we must do things the right way. When I when Morris talk about they in the depth, I say they ain't no depth. Cash out dollar sign KG Bay. Cash out dollar sign KG Bay. And then the syllabus and the enrollment sheet is going to go out for when, when I show Morris how to be a student and all the books you're going to need. So what's, watch this, Morris. Chapter 20 and 48 of the Morris Quran. Don't y'all know that? Don't y'all know that come from unto the I grant? When I tell y'all, it's the teachings. It's the teachings. We, we about to connect some dots. So what chapter 20 of the Morris Quran all about? Somebody talk to me. 
Somebody talk to me. <laughs> Watch. So look, y'all know what y'all know what it consists of, right? Right? Y'all know? Y'all know what chapter 20, Brother James, you got it? What the Brother James, you got it? What the chapter 20 of the Mor Morris Quran talk about? You got it? Go to it. Go to it, Brother James. This ain't no disrespect. This is how we learn. If you got the Quran, this is how I teach you. Man, this ain't, it's nothing to be afraid of. This is why I tell Moors. If we have the science and if we, we can't just have the manual, we don't know and we're willing to say, I don't know. And, 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 and this is how we learn. Because if you was in class and you had it, I'm going to I'm gonna call on you to understand it because you're supposed to, this is supposed to be your life. This, this is your holy breath. So what, what, what chapter 20 of your Moors Quran? Go to it. Go to chapter 20 and tell me what it's about. Just give me the introduction. That's simple. I'm Brother James, no? Because Brother James got the Quran. He said he got it. So this is what I mean. And there ain't no disrespect. All you got to do is just read the introduction of what chapter 20 says of the holy and the holy instructions. What, what is it? I done almost read it to y'all. <laughs> But it talks about the holy instructions and the warning for all young men. Now, watch this. Do y'all do do Morris have the manual? Watch this. Watch how I teach. This is why I say you gotta be students. Okay, now watch this. Do Morris understand the catechism for understanding the Morris Holy Quran at chapter 20 to 48? Watch, watch what I say. Do you understand the, the science in that? Watch them more don't understand what I say. But what is, do you, do you really understand when I'm talking about the Quranic study guide, when I talk about a guide for interpreting the Moors Quran, do you know what I'm saying? Because it got to mean something. So do you Moors know the catechism for understanding the Moors Holy Quran, chapter 20 to 48? Because this is the part, this is what you're going to get in school. Don't, don't just make nothing up neither. Because watch, watch, I break some down. This is what it's about from chapter 20 to 48. This is, and I'm just giving you a crash course. Moore's Holy Quran chapter from 20 to 48, 20 to 24. What is about family values, 25 to 30. It's about what community foundation uh, uh, chapter 31 to 35 is about what the codes of conduct 36 to 44 is what knowledge of self chapter uh, uh, and, and 45 to 47 is our history and what chapter 48 is our purpose. Did y'all get that what I'm saying? I hope y'all got that. See, this is what I be telling Moors. They get upset when, when, when I say we just speak. And I say, no, it, it's okay to say some things. But don't say manufactual matter, because I know Moors not teaching the science. I know this for a fact. I don't give a damn somebody put a fez on their head. And they start talking some a whole bunch of goofy stuff. And then they give themselves a title with sheet. And you don't have no scholarship or no nothing. I just gave you the summary of the catechism of the Moorish Quran, chapter 20 to 45. Anybody know that? You should know this specific. I just gave down the catechism from chapter 20 to 48 of our Moorish Quran. Did y'all get it? Did y'all write it down? See, this is talking about perfecting yourself. I'm talking about the teachings should help you and your family, if anything. The only way you're going to know law, international law, is study it and be taught. 20 to 24, family values. 25 to 30, community foundations. 31 to 35, codes of conduct. 36 to 44, knowledge of self. 45 to 47 is our history. And 48 is our purpose. Watch this. This is how I know Moors don't understand. I just asked them what this Moors Quran talk about. They distant stuff. What five principles did Jesus manifest in his life? Watch this. This is what your teacher, this is what our Moorish Quran talks about. This is what our silent brotherhood of the East talk about. So we're going to talk about it. This is what our Moorish literature talks about. This is what our questionnaire talks about. See, this is what our Quranic study guide talks about. This is stuff go with our teachers. So what Moorish talk about when they distance something? See, we're going to talk about the liars today. What five principles did Jesus manifest in his life? Watch this. Watch them or don't know. They're going to make something up. They'll be like, I ain't doing no white Jesus. I ain't say nothing. Who told you what teachers tell you some uh, Messiah was white? 
Because in out of that wisdom and our ayats, which Noble Jirali said, and which we can prove genetically that uh, children, your hair is not kinky, it's woolly uh, uh, like your brother Jesus. This is his ayats. Prove me wrong. What five principles did Jesus manifest in his life? Huh? Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Are there examples of Jesus manifesting these five principles? Love. The only Savior in the world is love. And Jesus, Son of Mary, comes to manifest the love. That's in your Moore's Holy Quran, chapter 2 and 21. That's in your Moore's Quran, chapter 22 and 21. So when you go, when you see a more this and that goofy stuff, you go right to your Moore's Quran. Right here, I just gave you the scripture. Your Moore's Holy Quran, chapter 2 and 21. So what you going to argue against? Because you don't have the Quranic study guide, the manuals that's going to correct somebody's teachings. Because it's the teachers that correct you. So anybody else, you out of line and you out of pocket. You out of line and you out of pocket. And we're going to talk about this today. You out of line and you out of pocket. Because I just showed you the teachings. Prove me wrong. You can't. Because you don't have a manuscript to go with the Quran. I just gave you all the manuscripts to go to the Quran. And I'm talking about it. When I said, what's the catechism of understand chapter 20 to 48? Moors do not know what I'm talking about. What that teach? I just asked you what the five principles that Jesus manifested in his life. I told you it's love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And when Moors talk about they study their Moors Quran, I'm like, you a damn lie in the sin and the, and the truth ain't in you. And then I asked you, are these principles of Jesus manifested? How did, what are the examples of how Jesus manifested these five principles? And I said, he manifested love. The only savior in the world is love. And Jesus, which is Yahshua, because in every other Jain and Hebrew dialect, Hebrew is Greek too, but that's a whole other teaching you're going to get in school. Jesus, son of Mary, when I talk about the, our perspective, because we understand that Mary is from the tribe of Judah, lineage of David by blood. I hope y'all understanding this when I teach it the right way. It's in your Morse Quran, chapter 2 and 21, chapter 2 and 21, truth, Jesus, which is Yahshua. I'm going to teach y'all this, left the wilderness and in the consciousness of the holy breath. That's in your Morse Quran. Is it? Hell yeah. Chapter 15 and 17 and chapter 7 and 10. Write it down. This why we're going to correct all it. The teachings correct you. If you're not going to roll with the truth, you a liar and the sin ain't in you. I mean, and the truth ain't in you. So you can lie to yourself, but you're not going to confuse these teachings. You're not going to confuse these teachers, not around me. That's why I said Moors better be a student. If not, I know Moors ain't studying the Quran. I know they're not. I know they're not perfecting themselves. All they're doing is acting like domestic terrorists, and that's why all Moors confused. Peace. Jesus taught Islamism, or Yahshua taught Islamism, which means peace with all on earth. That's in your Moors Quran, chapter 13 and 7, chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. Freedom. Yahshua came to redeem his people from under the Roman yoke of the law. That's in your Moorish Quran, 46 and 3, 12, chapter 12, 21 and 23. Justice. Yahshua means justice or Jesus means justice. Follow the context. All master men judge men by what they are and not what they seem to be. That's in your Moorish Quran, 9 and 10, 9 and 31 and 32. Who else manifests these five principles in life? Our prophet Noble Ali, myself in the flesh. Who was prepared and sent by Allah to teach the uh, old time religion? Research your Moorish Holy Quran 47 and 3. I keep telling y'all they be changing things. Why? To, to strip the bloodline. We were Mohammedans at one time. That's why they don't want to connect the Mobite, the Canaanite. I'm telling you, man. And they want to strip the bloodline. Who does the prophet instruct to manifest these five principles in life? All Moorish Americans. Your Moorish Quran 47, 13 and 14. How do we know he manifested them? The teach the, the treads, the way on every span of the ground. He leave his footprints clearly cut in our Moors Quran 4 and 16. Where are the prophet's footprints? The Moors Holy Quran, the Quranic questionnaires, the divine constitution, bylaw, all the prophet's literature and the illustrious acts. I'm giving you all the science, man. That's why I know Moors. They full of crap. They not teach nothing. When I said, what's the catechism for understanding the Moorish Quran, chapter 20 to 48? I don't know. And when I say, what's the teachings of the silent brotherhood of the East? We finna teach. That's why part two going to be amazing. Did a prophet give us lessons to set our house in order? Absolutely. What is our house? Our family. What is the backbone of family? The man. What warnings did the prophet give all young men? Beware of, un of unrestrained desires and the wrong woman. Who is the wrong woman? The harlot. And it ain't talk about no one. We talk about your Lord self. I hope y'all follow me. What did the prophet instruct man to do when he finds the right woman? Marry her. Y'all ain't even y'all ain't even following me. How does a man know if she is the right woman to marry? She will reflect the woman described in what? Chapter 20, 21 and 22. I'm giving y'all the teachings of the Moorish Quran. I'm giving you the catechism for understanding the Moorish Quran. Chapter 20 to 48. That's how I know Moorish not studying. 
Did the prophet give instruction for women? Absolutely. In chapter 21. What are they? Verses 1 to 14 are the instruction for single women. Marry your age. Verses 15 to 25 are instruction for married women. I can go on and on. So we about to stop, man. We finna get in chapter two and finish this. And we gonna finish the catechism. We gonna finish the Quranic study guide and the mystery of the silent brotherhood of the East and connect the dots. And we done. Islam, log back on.